Welcome back everybody to my YouTube channel, Patricia Mona Intuitive Consulting. I wanted to talk to you about the energy that is um, coming in and has been. I talked about it in, I think it was my June video with Susan Reynolds. Um, we do a monthly uh, tune in and see what's coming up. She does the astrology, I do the psychic remote viewing. And we both picked up that on June 12th, there was, um, in astrology, there was some planetary alignments that was bringing in some really different energy. And I said to her, I had written down June 12th on my paper and I had described it as really staticky energy. And I just wanted to say this week, since June 12th, it has been very staticky. Um, I was supposed to do four different YouTube interviews this week. Every single one of them got canceled for different reasons. Um, one lady is out in Portugal and she couldn't get a signal. And it was just, it's just crazy how um, this week has kind of unfolded. And um, Patricia Corey, who I'm going to be interviewing, she mentioned to me, she says, well, I heard that there was a cyber attack um, going on right now. And she says, I wonder if that's what the static is or what's going on. So it just, it, it really makes you wonder. And I also wanted to address, because I'm up here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and I'm sure that you have heard of all of the wildfires that are taking place right now. Well, I'm Canadian and I see what's going on. And in the local news, it's arson. People are being arrested left, right, and center for starting wildfires. And, but yet, our prime minister is out there saying that it's climate change. Well, no, it's not. A lot of these wildfires that are happening and taking place right now actually are arson. And there is videos of arson happening. So I'm not quite sure how our prime minister wants to call it um, climate change. But then I started thinking, then I started thinking to myself, okay, where are we burning in Canada right now? So I decided to pull up the map of where all the wildfires are taking place at this moment. And then I decided to pull up the map of Canada's new 15 minute cities. If you haven't heard of these 15 minute cities, you really should look it up because it's it's quite the plans um, that they have for us. Uh, it will be smart cities and smart stands for surveillance monitoring analysis technology. So these smart cities are going to be green cities where you're not allowed to drive your gas-powered vehicle through them. Um, it has to be an electric vehicle. Well, I'm telling you up in Canada in minus 30 and minus 40, that doesn't really work with those batteries. And if every single one of us was to rush out and go buy an electric power powered vehicle right now, we would crash the whole system. The electric grid would go down. There's no way the electric grid could power up an electric vehicle for every single one of us. So it's about control. These smart vehicles or electric vehicles have the power to repo themselves, have the power to control where you're going, how you're living. And that's what this is about. It is about control. So back to the wildfires, I decided to look and see where these 15 minute cities are and where these wildfires are taking place. And I'm looking and I'm seeing a lot of commonalities there. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, are they letting these rural towns or farmlands burn? Because just like they say, they want to build back better because if a farmer loses everything in a wildfire, are they going to rebuild? Are they? With all these new regulations and you know everything that they're doing um, 
even controlling the amount of animals that farmers are allowed on their pro on their properties are they going to bother going through all of that to build back right i don't know if you've heard of this or not but in the uk there's a culling of the cows happening right now where they are killing off 250,000 heads of cattle right now and that they're saying is in the name of climate change well if you go to arizona which i just did i just got back from the grand canyon last month and when i was there it was very clear that mother nature has cycles this earth has cycles and you can see it in the rocks of the grand canyon you can see where the water lines were and how it was uh, once all underwater. So I'm not quite sure why man th seems to think that we know better than the earth, mother nature. I'm not sure why we're going after mother nature like that. To me, it doesn't make sense. So I think that if we are the problem, maybe it's, it's, it's the big industrialization and, um, the companies that need to be held responsible, the ones that are polluting, you know, um, because all I know is with the wildfires and Trudeau claiming that it's climate change, he gets away with that carbon tax, 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 tax. How is taxing us going to stop wildfires that they're, that people are starting? How is a carbon tax? It's just tax upon tax upon tax with this government. And I just wanted to let you guys know that maybe we should start looking into this stuff and being concerned, you know, where is this liberal agenda going? Because if you look at the policies, they are right on par with the World Economic Forum, the World, World Health Organization. We're getting ready to sign our sovereignty over to the World Health Organization right now, where if there is another pandemic, this pandemic treaty says that the World Health Organization is now in charge of not just our countries and what we do, but our bodies as well. They want the power to force whatever they want inside of our bodies. So I'm not saying this stuff to scare anyone i just want us to be aware of where this agenda is going and um if we need to stand up for our rights however that looks like you know whether it's um the way we vote the you know or contacting our members of parliament and saying something our voices together are a lot stronger than individually so i know that on this YouTube channel, I know that you guys are freedom fighters or you wouldn't be watching it. I know that you resonated with me for a reason. And I just wanted to say, here we go again, guys, because if they start bringing in Climate Change Emergencies Act and where we have to stay home and can't go anywhere or have to wear masks again, where is this going? So it's time, once again, eyes wide open. And um, yeah, stay blessed. We're gonna be okay. The light has already, already won. It's just a matter of playing the role on this earth that we were brought here to do. And honestly, that's why I believe that the light workers have been really ignited over the last few years. Um, there's a lot of people working on the ley lines um, that, uh, that are healing um, the ley lines in Mother Earth. And I also wanted to let you know, while I have your attention, this summer I will be spending three weeks in Ireland and two weeks in Ireland and um, 10 days in England. And I am going to some very, very, very sacred places and I'm gonna take you with me. I will film, I'll go live, we'll do meditations together from stone circles. It's gonna be amazing. So I hope that uh, you will come along with me on my journey and watch out for, for my lives and my meditations because I truly believe that when we come together as one in that moment when we're meditating, we are creating a light wave all across that world, connecting into the grid and connecting to 
together into that vortex and anchoring in the light. And that is how grid workers do the work. We anchor in together, we anchor in the light into these sacred places and sacred spaces. So I hope that you will join me along on my journey. Thank you so much for listening to my little rant, eyes wide open. We need to be fully prepared um, for whatever the agenda has next. Keep your eyes on the World Economic Forum because they seem to be controlling the narrative right now. And um, yeah, I'd love to hear your, your comments. I'd love to answer your questions um, and hear your comments about what you think about what I just said. So I will see you guys again soon. Stay blessed.